can all agree with the idea that we all have acquired patterns throughout our lives to deal with certain circumstances that we face. What if I told you analyzing and understanding these patterns could help you gain much more understanding of yourself, what we are, and the world we live in? And by doing so, generate applicable solutions to problems that are happening right now. For this, let me develop an example. When I was a little girl, and my mom was teaching me how to clean my room and create this morning routine, she presented to me this equation that she knew was, was going to present the job perfectly. But as a five-year-old would do, I started to swap the components of that equation around. This independent thinking allowed me to not incorporate a behavior through minus repetition, but instead, I decided to carry out a process of thought that would give a small action a sense of purpose and ownership to be able to carry it out in the first place and eventually understand if this was actually the best way to carry it out from now on in my life. I strongly think and I believe that all of these small patterns and actions have been left unexplored. And I think that this type of action is actually the most important one because we do it every single day. I hope one day I can employ so much of myself in everything I do so that nothing is imposed on me and I can Im implement this purpose and awareness so that I can bring out a positive impact for myself and the people around me. In fact, patterns go way back our history and scientists state that it is one of the reasons why our species has been able to adapt in almost every single environment on Earth, even some of the most hostile ones. This root that processes all of our complex patterns is often used by other birds and mammals to, for example, trace migration trials and develop new tools. This root is located in the prefrontal cortex, the visual cortex, and the parietal temporal juncture. The fact that we use the same neurotransmitters and molecular bases as other organisms just shows how connected we are with them as well. Through our evolution, all of these regions have gotten better and greater at processing all of these complex patterns that are influenced by visual, behavioral, and vocal inputs. For example, our languages have allowed us to use the same pattern of words to express our feelings and thoughts. Our cultures, which in these terms would be people acting and thinking in the same pattern. This justifies and allows us to understand the reason why there's a huge immense and in immensity and diversity of cultures in all of our, in all of our environments. This also helps us understand the reason why not a single human being can regard the world with the same eyes. As every single one of us has implemented a different sort of patterns. This difference is what I called bias. This bias does make you different, but it does not set you apart. Because although you regard your problems with a different perspective, I think that most of them are very similar. In fact, understanding and appreciating this bias can help you be much more creative and innovative because you can actually see what's coming from you and what has influenced your conclusions of the issues of the world. To develop this presentation, I had to understand myself that the most antidisciplinary thing out there is our brains. And yes, you can contrast the arts and the sciences, but for me, it was much more important to see where everything came from which is a brain with similar physiological and anatomical characteristics, so capable of generating such contrasting ideas that are so relevant to the world we live in today. Therefore, for me, it's important for us to see that in our journey of questioning and analyzing all of these patterns that make up of ourselves, that we often don't see the world as it is, but as we are. So how can you use this process of questioning and awareness to bring out a positive impact? When approaching the term questioning, I like to think of it like taking your perspective on the issue, understand the role it plays, and challenge it. It is to understand that we do not have all the solutions to all the problems, but in other words, we have to generate all these new solutions. This questioning requires detailed observation that would help you see the problems that are currently there and maybe solve them, but much more importantly, you will see problems that you weren't aware of before. This detailed observation will help you not only, not only see all the problems that are there and solve them, but much more importantly, it has helped me set my priorities and 
understand what is the most important and dearest to my heart. And as soon as you will be able to implement this purpose into your daily action, big or small, you will be so much motivated to do something that really matters to you. But there's a caution to this tale, and I think that inhibits a lot of creative minds to put themselves out there. And it is the fact that we humans make mistakes, and going out in the world and curving your own journey is challenging, and we often make mistakes. Therefore, I encourage you to listen to Mr. Joey Ito, who said that we should be willing to look foolish and be foolish. And by doing so, maybe answer and generate all of these intriguing questions that we have never think of before. When thinking and approaching the term awareness, I like to think of it as responsibility. It is to know and understand that your action and your lack of action is equally important, and it should be regarded with the same critical eyes. We are all members of the same planet, and we, as brothers and sisters, should be able to take that responsibility. Therefore, I encourage you to set a line where you think learning is enough, because the world's constantly changing, and only the people who live in the present are those who are going to make the greatest impacts. So if there's anything out there that, that could increase your purpose and your understanding on anything you're currently doing, go for it yourself. Don't expect anyone to push you or do the work for you, because education is what you do to what they do to you, but learning is what you do to yourself. When approaching this process of questioning and awareness to my own life, I wanted to understand why I wanted to pursue a medical career. I would always say to myself, to help people. I went on a journey of questioning and seeing what I was doing to evidence with my small actions that I was carrying out every single day, my belief that helping people was important. But I didn't, I didn't cover the answer with lies. And I saw that often my belief was not aligned with my actions. And I wasn't very happy about that. In fact, my journey of questioning and awareness has led me to see and understand that the best way to help people is to protect the well-being of our environment. Independently of whether I become a doctor or not, I will make sure that all of my small actions align with my belief of preserving where we come from. Because without it, we won't survive. And even if we don't want to hear about it, the world will continue without us. When approaching these this small actions and patterns, I hope that we all understand that by taking responsibility of them and questioning them, we will generate an impact that will all, not only be, be useful for you, but also the environment as well. Therefore, I will take every single antidisciplinary component of myself to make it useful, to generate an impact that will preserve us all in this planet as, a, as human beings. Therefore, I went out into a journey that will, that will definitely require action and responsibility. And I hope that we all understand that by not using plastic bottles, that not using single usage plastic disposals, and by maybe being responsible with your waste, you're not only contributing to protect all of those species that are mis missing and being destroyed by our unresponsible waste, but also you're protecting our oceans that serve more than 3 billion people with their main source of protein. Another example would be the fashion industry, which in terms of how destructive it has become, it is the second worst polluter after the oil industry. I think that if we ask ourselves the right actions, and if we commit, and if we understand and take responsibility of our small actions, we will see that we actually care about the people that are sitting down, hours on end, making all of these clothes for us to buy, that are in deplorable conditions. I think that if we ask ourselves the right questions, we will see and understand, that, and maybe prevent all of these hazardous substances, pesticides, inks being dumped into our rivers, lakes and oceans. All of these small actions do not contribute to people only. This is for the environment as a whole. Nothing you will do will only impact human beings. There are greater things than unite us rather than separate us, and we should be willing to see this. Maybe this journey sounds rigid and requires a lot of discipline, 
but I hope that we see that a person that understands the power of existence is a human being that understands that their action and their lack of action is equally important. This journey will not only make you more fulfilled, but it will help you to preserve us all as one. This journey, for me, is about reconnecting with nature. It's about finding the beauty about the small processes we do every single day and discovering how different and, and fascinating we are. And maybe if we realized, and maybe we acknowledge that we see the world with different eyes, cultures and languages, we can realize that only our actions will define our fate. The faster we unite, the closer we will be to a solution. I just hope we can find enough love for ourselves, the future generations and the species of the world to make the changes that are necessary to preserve us all. This process of questioning and awareness is my own. I'm not asking you to follow me. I'm just encouraging you to start your own because if it's not yours, it won't mean anything. I just hope that preserving ourselves also resonates with your priorities because conscious action and conscious thought are an idea worth spreading. Thank you.